Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So just a quick video to update you regarding the Windows 11 LSA protection bug that I have been posting on over the last month or so. And uh, um, I'll leave a link to a video I did post uh, recently on that issue. And uh, um, just a quick recap for the purpose of today's video. If we head over to Windows Update, um, Update History Definition Updates, as mentioned, Microsoft has confirmed that this Defender Anti-Malware Platform Update KB5007651 version 1.0.2302.21002, um, which was released as part of the Patch Tuesday updates for March of this year, 2023, has a bug that displays a wrong message saying local security authority protection is off and is persistently prompting you for a device restart. And if we head over to the Windows Security app, as many of you will know by now, and we head to Device Security, Core Isolation, this is where the issue um, has been found, where um, there's a warning message here saying that um, local security authority protection is off, even though it isn't, which is prompting you for a device restart. And um, Microsoft has provided a workaround, and I have posted on that, and I'll leave a link to that video down below. Now, um, just a quick update, as mentioned. Um, according to the site desk modder, they are now claiming that with a more recent and the most recent um, Defender Antivirus Anti-Malware Platform update for KB5007651, which has now been upgraded to version 1.0.2303.27001, that Microsoft has apparently fixed the issue um, with the LSA protection bug, which was, res was resolved by an update to the kernel mode hardware enforced stack protection security feature, which is also part of the core isolation in Windows 11. And if you don't know what um, hardware enforced stack protection is, um, a quick summary, a summary of that uh, is that it's a new Windows 11 feature that basically enables software to use the local CPU hardware to basically safeguard and protect the code of that software and also prevents attackers, um, according to Microsoft, from substituting an address that runs malicious code instead. So it's a basically another security feature that is part of the core isolation that's found in Windows 11. Now, um, although um, there are reports now, as mentioned, like desk modder claiming that supposedly Microsoft has fixed that LSA protection bug, um, if we head over to Microsoft's health dashboard page over on Microsoft Docs, they still state that this bug has not been resolved. So here you can see it was opened on the 21st of March 2023 and was last updated on the same date. So it hasn't been resolved yet. This is still an open bug and an open issue for local security authority protection off with persistent restart. And also today, um, as you can see, I have that recent anti-malware platform update. Um, I have noticed on two occasions today, I'm not seeing it now, but I have already noticed on two occasions today that I am still seeing the error warning. So although um, sites like Desk Modder are claiming that that anti-malware platform update does resolve the issue, I'm going to say otherwise that um, for some it may be resolved with that update. But because that bug is still open over on the health dashboard of Microsoft and I'm still seeing uh, the issue prevalent in my Windows Security app under LSA protection, I'm going to say that um, you may have better luck. You, that update may have resolved the issue for you, but um, I'm going to say that that bug is still open and that Microsoft hasn't officially yet addressed the issue. So thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.